Hey guys, welcome to a very special video here on the channel. Now, if you've been watching my channel for the past couple of months, you guys will know that I have been looking at every single animated Disney film to be released theatrically and have been ranking them best to worst based off of the different eras. And this has been such a incredible journey that I have absolutely loved. It has been tiresome, but it has been extremely rewarding looking at all 58 theatrically released animated films and just falling in love with Disney. I can finally say that I have seen every single theatrically released animated film, which is absolutely crazy, especially in such a short time frame. But it has been just a lot of fun, and I've really enjoyed doing these videos and talking about them with you guys because this is just something I love doing. I love talking about movies on this channel and Disney has just been something that has been near and dear to my heart and so I wanted to do a final video here on the channel really culminating in basically everything. I wanted to talk about my favorite eras, my least favorite Disney films, my favorite Disney films, as well as what I think are the most overrated and most underrated. So you're all going to be getting that in this video here. Originally, this was just going to be a top 10 favorite Disney films, but I decided why not just do it all and make this be a complete retrospective of this entire series that I've been doing. Now, I will say that I'm not going to be talking about these films in great detail because this video is going to be extremely long, so if you're wanting to know what I think of each Disney film in particular, I would say go back and look at my other videos, at my other rankings. I go into more detail of my favorite films there and my least favorites and what I think of them overall. I will be putting a playlist in the description below for you guys to see if you want to watch from the very beginning. But anyway, that's really all I got to say. So I got my note cards right here so that I don't get lost. So anyway, let's get started by ranking the Disney era's best to worst. Starting at number seven, we have the Disney wartime era with an average score of 6.3 and a final score of a 6 out of 10. It's definitely the worst era of Disney animation. At number six, we have the post renaissance with a 6.6 .6 average and a 7 out of 10 final score. At number 5, we have the transitional era, or as many call it, the Dark Age of Disney, with a 7.1 average and a final score of 7 out of 10. At number 4, we have the Silver Age, with a 7.6 average and a final score of 8 out of 10. At number 3, we have the Revival Era with an average score of, yet again, a 7.6 with a final score of 8 out of 10. These eras are very close to each other. At number 2, we have the Golden Age with a 7.8 average and a final score of 8 out of 10. This is just a fantastic era all across the board. I don't love every single film in this era, but... The others are just so impactful and so great. It's definitely one of the best. And then at number one, of course, it's the Disney Renaissance with actually an average score of a 7.6, but the era is just so filled with so much beautiful Disney animation and great films that it far exceeds the score that it was given, and it gets a 9 out of 10. Moving on to most overrated Disney film, I actually only have one of these, and it's one that I actually still, in the end, really like this film, and it is Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. I really, really like this film, but I think when you strip away the beautiful animation, how important the film is to basically just animation in general, I feel like you don't have a film that has much substance. It doesn't, it doesn't stick with me. I really enjoy the film. It's very impactful. It's an important film, but I feel like I just don't see the love that it gets besides, you know, how culturally important it is. And so that's why it's my most overrated Disney film. Still a good film nonetheless. 
Now for most underrated Disney film, we have Brother Bear. I absolutely adore this film to death, and I cannot believe it has the same Rotten Tomatoes score as Chicken Little. That is criminal. Like, wow. I absolutely love this film, guys. I love the characters. I love the beautiful animation. I absolutely find the story really enthralling. It's not a perfect film, there are definitely parts in the middle of the film that don't exactly work for me, but I think it is a incredibly underrated film that really deserves to be looked at a lot more and praised a lot more than it usually is. And also, I didn't rank any of these, but other underrated films that I'm going to include are The Black Cauldron, Oliver and Company, and Atlantis, The Lost Empire. Now moving on to my worst Disney animated films, there are actually only four of them. There's only four Disney films during this whole watch that I actually just didn't care for that much. So I was originally thinking of doing a top 10, but I'm like, I, I can't do it because I like several of these films. But these films in particular, I just don't really care for. And they are at number four, Pocahontas, a beautiful, luscious-looking film with just very little substance to it, and I just can't find myself really caring for what's going on in the film. Beautiful-looking film, though. At number three, we have The Three Caballeros. I still just don't understand the appeal of this film. I love surrealist imagery, but this film is just extremely tiring to watch. I didn't enjoy it really at all, and it's definitely one of my least favorite. At number two, Home on the Range. This film has gotten worse the more I've thought about it, but it's not as bad as my number one, which is Chicken Little. I think this film is absolutely awful. There's just nothing really about it that stands out. There's nothing about it that I can really say was done well or good. There's a few chuckles here and there, but this is definitely the lowest of the low in terms of Disney animation, and it's really sad. But now we have finally come to the very end to talk about my top 10 favorite Disney animated films of all time. Now, this list, especially if you've been paying close attention to my rankings for um, all the other eras, this list has changed a little bit. There's some tweaks that I've made throughout because, you know, the more you think about a film, the more you either love it or hate it or you change your opinion on it. And so that's what happened here with... Um, a few particular films that have changed their order from how I originally placed them. But anyway, let's get started with number 10. And at number 10, we have The Emperor's New Groove. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. I think this is the funniest Disney film of all time. Absolutely love it. Love the characters, love the animation, and the humor, of course, is just golden. At number nine, we have Aladdin. Aladdin, I absolutely love. The music, the characters, the beautiful animation. I mean, it's a Disney Renaissance film. It's one of the best that Disney has to offer. I love the character of Aladdin, and it's just such a heartwarming film and extremely adventurous and fun, too. At number eight, we have The Lion King. I freaking love The Lion King. It's beautifully animated. I love its characters. I absolutely love that they had the balls to kill off Mufasa and do it in such an incredible way that can be explained to children. It's a great way to introduce and explain death to a young person, which I think is incredible. I think the story is just absolutely fantastic. Songs, everything just comes together to make an incredible film. At number seven, we have Tarzan. This might have to do a lot with nostalgia because I watched this film a lot as a kid, but I just absolutely adore this film from its animation to the Phil Collins songs that don't always fit, but they are, are just incredible. I love the character of Tarzan. It has some of my favorite Disney moments in it in terms of animation, just the fluidity of it. I love the characters. I just find this a very 
human story that I can relate to that is just beautiful to watch. It's one of my absolute favorites, and a lot of it might be due to nostalgia. At number six, we have The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. I don't think you can get closer to a perfect film than The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. I just absolutely adore this film and its characters. You've heard me talk about Winnie the Pooh a lot lately with talking about Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, and then eventually um, the 2011 film Winnie the Pooh. I adore this character. I adore all the characters. And it's just something I can sit down and watch and just fall in love with again and again. At number five is Pinocchio. This movie was originally way, way higher. I think Pinocchio is yet again another perfect Disney film that just does everything so right. It is dark and depressing and scary in a lot of places. I absolutely love the songs and the characters, the moral of the story. It's such a very impactful Disney film that is absolutely one of Disney's best. It is just a film that is near and dear to my heart. At number four, we have a film that I have just completely fallen in love with ever since I saw it, and that is Lilo and Stitch. Love the characters, love the animation. The story is so impactful and mature, and I freaking love that about it. And it's just, it's why it is this high on the list. At number three, I have The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid has impacted me more than any Disney film probably during my rewatch because I continuously just think about this movie over and over again, and I love it more and more the more I think about it. I mean, people really talk down about this film because Ariel wants more and everything, and she's already a princess, but people don't understand, and people forget that she knows she has everything, but she ha there's something out there that she can't possibly be. She wants to be where the people are and she can't and that's really powerful because you know it's something that she thinks she'll never achieve and she eventually does and I think it's absolutely wonderful the beautiful animation it has the best Disney princess song ever put to music I absolutely love this film it makes me cry I just can't stop thinking about it guys at number two we have Bambi there is no other film that has been such a huge part of my childhood and my upbringing than Bambi. This film just was such a big part of my childhood. I absolutely love the gorgeous animation, the characters, everything about it. It is the most beautiful looking Disney film I have ever seen. It is just had such a profound impact on me and I just can't stop thinking about it. It is one of my favorite Disney films ever. It is one of my favorite movies ever and I will never ever forget this film. And finally at number one you guys know what it is. It is The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I love this film to death ever since I saw it back in like 2010, 2011, when I finally sat down and watched it. This film has had such a huge impact on me. It's a religious experience every time I watch it. I love the characters, the animation, the villain. is one of my favorite villains of all time. I absolutely love it. I love the songs, the Bells of Notre Dame, Out There, Hellfire, God Help the Outcast. All of it is just so impactful for me and it's not a perfect film it is a flawed film but it is a flawed masterpiece and that's why I love it so much it has a few blemishes about it but everything about it just screams classic for me and it's just something that I keep going back to and I love every time I watch it and guys, that does it for my ranking of basically everything that I've done here on this list. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is my final 
Disney video that I'm going to be doing for a while. I'm kind of Disneyed out at this point, but I will say that I plan on reviewing all these films eventually at some point. Don't expect it a day from now, a week from now, a month from now, because I just, I want to move on to something else, and basically, I've been wanting to do these ranking videos for some time, and I thought they would be a lot of fun, but I want to move away from the ranking videos at this point, and move on to doing more classic reviews for you, more book reviews, so look forward to more things coming to you soon from me, um, especially in terms of classic reviews because I've been neglecting doing that on my channel. But guys, this has been such a fun blast of a thing to do. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching all these videos, if you've been watching all of them, but I hope you enjoyed watching this video in particular as, you know, you see what I think of all these Disney films because it's going to be different for every single person. Everyone has their favorite and least favorite, and I want to know what you guys think down below. I mean, you guys don't have to do, like, everything that I just did, but just tell me what your favorite Disney film is, your worst, your most underrated, and your most overrated, and what your favorite era is. I mean, at least do that for me, because I would like to know. But thank you guys for watching. You guys have been an incredible audience. Thank you guys for supporting me, and as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next review.